What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Komodo's internet security suite, how to download it and install it and set it up. So let's have a look at the actual free products page that Komodo do. And they do a lot of free software and uh, a lot of it's very good. So you can see here Komodo internet security. This has got everything all in one and it's a very good download and it's free. Now you're going to get the firewall the antivirus and the uh, browser and loads of other stuff like kill switch and all that sort of stuff all embedded into this okay now you can just have the uh, standalone antivirus program or the komodo firewall if you wish and you can also mix and match these with other types of software like firewall uh, komodo firewall with avast or something like that and that would be totally fine as well okay so you can run these as a singular download so we're going to go for the komodo internet security here I'm going to install that. Now I get this uh, question asked all the time, what's the best antivirus and what's the best firewall? Well, it's all about your own preference really. So stick with what you like and uh, I'm pretty sure having something rather than nothing is the best way to go. So here we've got the actual uh, language here. I'm just going to stick with that. Now you've got a couple of options here. We can either opt in or opt out here. Komodo Secure DNS. I'm going to leave that ticked and also you've also got the cloud based uh, behavior analysis which I'm also going to leave ticked as well. I'm going to remove this tick but if you wish to leave that in you can do. I'm going to come down to customize installation and uh, you can see here install antivirus we've also got uh, Komodo firewall. I'm going to take the tick out of gig buddy because I don't want it and uh, I'm going to go to configuration options okay that's fine and the location is fine as well okay so let's go back here and now click on our installation and you can see there's a little box now up on the top right hand side here we can add stuff to this and also remove stuff from it and I'll show you how to do that in a second here we have our actual GUI interface. It's now doing a uh, Komodo scan here and it's checking for signature updates. You may get this pop up um, whether you're at home to secure uh, to sort the network out so I'm just going to click on I'm at home and that will now allow the internet. So what we're going to do here now is leave this running in the background and you can see here this will send to the back action to the background and it will run in the background. So let's take a look at some of the actual interface at the bottom here. We've got scan, update, uh, virtual kiosk, uh, quarantine, task manager and if you flick through these um, you can add these to your little uh, control panel up the top right hand side here. There's also a scan objects here you can drop them straight in and it will scan those. So what we can do here is look up the top here and we can right click on this and we can look at widget now widget means show connect panel I'd want to take that out for the actual Facebook and we can also add other stuff inside here as well if you wished St uh, show status panel and that would uh, show us this uh, status panel here which is for applications as you can see so if you click on these it will open these up you can see the actual task running in the background. Again, this will just open up your little control panel, advanced control panel here. And another one will open this panel up. Okay, now if you look at the tasks here, we can also get to it from clicking on this as well. So we're going to click on that and that will flip that around and now you'll get general tasks. So you can see we've got scan, update, view quarantine and view logs and open task manager. If we come down to the little tab here. Okay, so that's now initializing kill switch 
and installing it as you can see that kill switch is an awesome bit of kit now this is all incorporated into your um, internet security uh, suite here if I just look at um, what this does okay let me just pull this down here for a second okay so this is our kill switch program as you can see this in itself is worth a video all on its own it's uh, used for killing processes and stuff like that you can actually see here we can kill a process kill and block a process uh, kill a process tree force to terminate delete restart suspend and uh, all that good stuff okay jump to the folder so if you wanted to find out where this was it will take you to that location uh, and to that file so great when you're trying to root out malware and stuff like that you can also do lots of other good stuff with it as well like uh, search online and also send a report as a suspicious file to uh, Komodo itself now I'm not going to go too deep into this because it is a real good tool and it's worthy of uh, its own video and you can see verify signature and loads of other good stuff okay you've got loads of uh, tools down the bottom of here we'll go through all this in another video so let me close this off now and what we're going to do is bring up our control panel and you can see here we was at the firewall tasks here uh, again we've got a allow application and block application this is where you can allow and block applications you just basically open this up and uh, pick the uh, location of the program that you want to block and it will block that program or allow it through okay so if you're having trouble this is where you can come for allowing programs and applications stealth ports again block incoming connections and alert incoming connections we've also got managed networks um, for your actual networks we've also got uh, open advanced settings here which is where you can make all the changes to your uh, internet security suite so basically you've got user interface here you can make changes here take stuff out and uh, leave stuff in if you wish uh, you can disable the widget which is this thing up here um, enable password and whatnot updates you can set this up to uh, how often you want it to check for updates uh, every six hours or if you want to shorten that down you can do okay or don't check for updates at all which I wouldn't advise you to do login again self-explanatory stuff really um, but here you'll have like little tabs at the bottom here when you click on firewall security and you've got import export activate and uh, also remove okay you can right click on it as well for the same type of thing okay so let's go back to security settings now and look at the um, antivirus you've got real time and you can set this up to how you wish okay I'm not going to go through too much of setting this up completely um, just going to do some basic stuff here again uh, exclusions defense what you're looking for in the defense plus is your hips and uh, you just click on that hips there hip settings we want to enable that and uh, you can set this up to how you want to do okay And this is in safe mode at the moment as you can see and you can set this up to paranoid mode if you wish now also we've got a little advanced section down here and I'm going to add those in and this will require a restart this will and uh, you can enable this enhance protection mode okay which I advise you to do now this one really the second one is really for when you're doing malware removal and stuff like that as you can see it tells you exactly what it's doing when you've got an infested machine you can try to get this installed and this will help you remove malware from it also and protect you okay okay here we've got um, applications here you can see and you can still do the same thing down the bottom here add edit remove move up and down and purge okay purge means delete or remove okay let me just uh, bring this down here registry protection again uh, automatic startup you get uh, access to these areas here you can see these okay and you can edit it add 
to registry groups, registry entries, remove, and also, uh, so if you edit this, um, it'll allow you to edit it. Import keys. Again, down the bottom here, you've got the same functions here for your registry. Okay, that's a behavior block. We've got a behavior blocker here, partially limited. Okay, and uh, we can do this untrusted. Okay, we're going to put a tick in there. And it's going to open auto uh, sandbox unknown applications. This is a good thing to do, okay? And now we've got the uh, sandbox here. Now you can also protect your virtual kiosk with a password if you wish here. And you can also see, uh, again, add, edit, and remove, and purge all the stuff that you put into your sandbox in here, okay? And your shared space, which is uh, what you're going to open up inside your virtual kiosk. Okay, so firewall settings here. Again, pretty much safe mode at the moment. You can put it in training mode if you've just got it on the system and you want to go through the motions there, you can do that. I would leave that on safe mode there. Okay, gonna, gonna filter that. Block fragmented IP traffic. Enable anti-ARP spoofing. Okay, I'm going to leave uh, the ticks in these down the bottom here. We can also create rules for safe applications, and then move this down to here. Same thing. I'm going to spend too much time on this bit here, but you can do the same thing here. Okay, add and remove global rules. Okay. Trusted files. Unrecognized files. This will be listed here. Submitted files, the one you've submitted to Komodo, and trusted vendors. As you build up, add and remove. You can build up trusted vendors and also trusted files and also unrecognized files. Okay, you can build all this up here. Okay, so let's uh, close that off. I'm going to click OK here. Let's move down to the next tab, Sandbox Tasks. Okay, so this is basically all your sandbox tasks. Okay, run virtual kiosk, uh, run virtual, and also reset uh, sandbox. Open up your shared space. This is going to open up your shared space where you can put files into this and access these files inside your uh, virtual kiosk. Okay, so let's put something in our shared space. So I'm going to open up our shared space here. I'm going to put something in it. Let's put uh, this Malwarebytes uh, Chameleon in there. Okay, and then we're going to open up our virtual kiosk. Yeah, I'm going to install this now. I'm just going to say yes to this. Agree to this and install it. So basically this is your virtual kiosk here as you can see and uh, we can go to app market komodo dragon here gmail and whatnot so you're in a safe zone here we can flick this over like so and we can look at our shared space and if you look here this is the files if i open this up now you can see the chameleon that's in our shared space we can access that there let me just close this off. We've got the actual keyboard here if we wish as well. It's going to exit out of this now. You can see virtualize browser. Now if I open up quickly kill switch again. And you look here because we're browsing on this browser here you can see that we're now fully virtualized and uh, you can see it's virtualized enabled so everything I do here 
is going to be safe here and you can see the green square box around it okay that's if you use the virtualized browser now if you come down here you can actually drag these into this location here so you can see it all the time so you can just double click on this if you wish or you can double click on these little icons up here and this will open this up okay there's also another area which I wanted to show you which means you can actually right click on this and see game mode down the bottom here this if you want to play games and you want to leave your firewall on you'll see it will go into game mode and also behavior blocker is enabled firewall is enabled and also the antivirus enabled okay you can also add stuff to the widget if you wish which is this thing up the top right hand side here and you can double click on this and this will open it up as well and also what you can do here is run scan straight from here quick scan full scan uh, rating scan and also custom scan if you wish and this will allow you to do folder scans file scans and more scan options okay okay so here we have our scan objects here and I've got some viruses here all right up basically and I could drop that straight in there and as you can see it's found that virus on there so what we can do is say no I want to clean it myself it's found the file inside that raw file and we've got it action to clean here and we can apply the selected actions and this will remove this from the system and you can see it deleted that file now if you went on the internet it will do the same thing it will detect those as you're browsing and if I try to open this up and you straight away you can see there it's found that file as I've tried to drag it out of the raw file here again it's detected that file it's, and it's automatically deleted that file the main part of it it's left the other crap behind but it's deleted the executable part so let's take a quick look at our sandbox settings and how you run an application inside a sandbox you can do that inside this suite here so we we've looked at virtual kiosk let's have a quick look at how to run an application in there so we're going to run malwarebytes inside in there so if you didn't feel safe when you downloaded something off the internet and you wanted to run that program in here I know malwarebytes is safe but if you wanted to run something in a sandbox you could do it this way and you can see the green square around the outside and this is running in a sandbox and it's safe okay so basically you close that off okay before I end this video let's just take one more quick look at the advanced section here and I'll be covering a lot of this on a mal infested machine and we'll be using this type of setup to kill uh, the infections on that machine and how to go about removing uh, malware infections by using some of the tools that are built into this actual software by creating a, re a rescue disk here using the clear endpoint which is the clean and essentials tool to get uh, really persistent infections off the system and also we can use kill switch and remove some of those from the system okay now kill uh, endpoint here we'll cover this in another video when we've got some infections on the system so that's basically about it for this video I think so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share support by rating and favoriting all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you think I've missed something out in this video then drop a comment in the uh, message box below and I'll do my best to uh, answer those questions for you so thanks again guys and thanks for your support bye for now